Hey, what's happening, everybody? This is Elite Kicks back with the weekly video. Today's video, guys, we're going to be talking about how to cop on Hibbit Sports manually. It is a site that is heavily botted, but if you know the tips to copying manually, you have a good chance of actually securing a pair on Hibbit Sports. Before we jump into today's video, guys, I just want to mention two things right off the bat. First and foremost, thank you so much for the continued support. I'm going to keep mentioning it because the channel keeps growing each and every single day. We are so close to closing in on the goal of a thousand subs. We're about 30 subscribers off. So guys, help me get there. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Secondly, and also very importantly, the Discord is officially set up. Everything is ready to roll. Most likely, I'm going to be dropping the Discord link Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to be putting it on my Instagram, but I'm also going to be putting it here on my YouTube on the community post section as well. So don't forget to subscribe to the Discord. It's a it's only four dollars a month. That's 13 cents a day, and this is what you guys will get. You'll get exclusive access to the advanced sneakers tips to Nike tips. You'll get one-on-one -on -one access to any issues you guys have with sneakers or the Nike app, something that I can got something I can guide you guys through. It's basically just an advanced course on sneakers and the Nike app, one which I can't provide in a YouTube video because the video itself would become 40, 50 minutes long and no one's going to watch a 40 to 50 minute long video. With that, guys, let's jump into today's video. We're going to be talking about Hibbit Sports. Now, I want to mention one thing right off the bat. If you want to cop manually on Hibbit Sports, you have to have an iPhone. You have to use Apple Pay. If you have, unfortunately, if you have an Android or any other type of device, then you have zero chance of succeeding. You could probably get the less hyped drops, but if you want the hype drops, um, the slides or anything like that, the easy slides, then you need apple pay for sure so that is the first tip you have to have apple pay and in connection to that do not use the app the app is extremely slow it will not work it's much slower than using the safari browser which seems a little counterintuitive you would think using the app would be better but actually using safari works a lot better so first two tips guys use apple pay you have to use apple pay and you have to use the Safari browser. So the biggest the biggest hurdle that you face when trying to cop on Hibbit Sports is the press and hold loop. You'll get that loop if you haven't generated enough cookies. So you have to be on the site generating cookies about five to six minutes before the drop. Now I've I've done it where I was generating cookies maybe two to three minutes before the drop. So somewhere between that range, I wouldn't start there 20 minutes beforehand. I wouldn't start there 10 minutes beforehand. I would get to as close as comfortable as you can to the 10 o'clock PM drop and start generating cookies. And if you don't know how to generate cookies, just go, just make sure you're logged in is the first and foremost important thing. And just go to the search bar, search Jordan, search something else add it to your cart, take it out of your cart, just start doing normal buyer activities, adding stuff, taking it off, just do it to just generate some cookies so the website can recognize your IP address and doesn't recognize you as just starting on the site at 10 o'clock. The, the, the next tip guys is where to actually be at 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard, Eastern Standard Time. Do you go to the launches page or do you go to the shoe page? Now, if you've been on the shoe page, the day of or like the day before, you'll see there's a little countdown. Normally when the countdown hits completely zero, that changes to sizes. Personally, okay, this is where I've had the best success. When I've been on the shoe page and I've seen the zero, 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 there have been instances where that does not convert to the, to the size and you can click on a size and check out. Now it's happened before, but there have been instances where it, it doesn't work. And at that point I have to go back to the launches page and then come back into the shoe. And by that time the shoe is sold out, I just wasted all that time. So what I normally do is I stay on the launches page. And as soon as it hits 10 o'clock, I click on the shoe, go to the sizes, and then I go Apple pay and then I check out. So personal opinion, my advice based off of what I've done on Hibbit sports, start on the launches page with the next tip guys, what you'll normally get is when you've generated enough cookies, Okay, you'll get a checking browser pop up that comes up and I'm going to show it here on the screen. Once you get that, 
you know you've cleared, you know you've generated enough cookies. It's just checking your browser and it's going to take you to the actual shoe page where you can ultimately check out. The next tip, guys, is when you start on the launches page and you click on the actual sneaker, you don't want to scroll down too fast to get down to the sizes, okay? You want to scroll, this sounds a little counterintuitive, but you want to scroll a little bit forcefully. That is to say, take your time scrolling down, but don't obviously go too slow. If you scroll down too fast, you'll actually be stuck in a press and hold loop because it's gonna think that you're a bot. So take your time, get to the sizes page, click on the size, click on Apple Pay, then check out. A lot of times I get the question of is, what size do I pick? Do I go for the less lucrative size? Do I go for the bigger size? My advice and this where I've had the most success is always picking a size between somewhere between nine and a half and 11. Those are the sizes that have the most stock. So if you pick a size eight, you may lose out because you have all these bots on Hibbit Sports trying to cop any size they can, right? So if you go for size 10, you may have a decent chance because there's a good amount of pairs and if you're quick enough, you can get it. The final tip I have guys is that your first Apple Pay attempt, let's say to check out with size 10, may actually fail. It may fail, quickly go back, pick on another size and check out again. That's how I was able to cop multiple pairs of the Yeezy slides actually in the Onyx colorway and I think the Pure colorway. I, I clicked on one size, it told me it wasn't working. Then I clicked on a size, it checked out went back to the launches page, went to the other colorway, checked out it. The same issue happened again. Wouldn't let me check out one size, but I checked out on another size. So guys, I want to recap the, the tips for today because these are very critical in how you want to cop on Hibbit Sports. First and foremost, you need Apple Pay. You have to use Safari. Don't use the, don't use the app. The app is really slow and can get really glitchy on the day of the release about five to six minutes before the drop, start generating some cookies, start searching for Jordan, searching for anything, and then ultimately make sure you generate enough cookies in advance of the release. Don't try to generate cookies 20 minutes before the release, try to get to as close to the drop time as possible. There's a debate that I had with myself, whether to be on the launches page or the shoe page. I've had the most success being on the launches page. If you see the checking browser sign after you, after you go from the launches page and you click on the shoe page, then that's a good sign. You have generated enough cookies and hopefully your browser will clear. You obviously don't want to scroll too fast because it the website does recognize that as bot activity. Just you want to do it a little bit methodically. Just scroll down not super slow, but just one swipe down will probably get you down to the sizes. You want to pick a size that has a good amount of stock. Again, nine and a half to 11. It's usually around the point where Hibbits carries the most sizes. And finally, if it does fail, don't hesitate to try again. Go for a size seven, go for a size eight, whatever you need to do. And if there are multiple colorways releasing, like for the slides, it's okay to check out with one colorway and then go back to launches and try the other colorway. That's how I was able to cop multiple pairs of the Yeezy slides. That is the video for today, guys. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Next week's video, I haven't fully formalized what it's going to be. More than likely, we'll shift to a how to cop or I may just talk about the state of the sneaker market. Uh, with that, guys, that is the video for today. This is Elite Kicks signing off. Take care, everybody.